Good morning and happy new year from Pensacola, Florida. So we all slept in a little bit this morning after staying up very late last night until about two in the morning playing games and shooting off fireworks. I'm gonna go get some donuts. And here I am in Krispy Kreme watching all these donuts get glazed. Oh man, they look so good, which is why I got so many. I got two dozen donuts. I got a dozen assorted and then a dozen regular glazed donuts because the hot now sign is flashing and that's when you know it's time to get donuts. So I made it back home. Mom has some oatmeal and bacon going on the stove over there. And then here's my contribution. Got some delicious Krispy Kreme donuts, some assorted and some hot ones. I also swung by Publix and I got some champagne because it's the new year. All right, it is now almost lunchtime and I'm making my cheddar potato soup. I have the cheese melting right there and the potatoes are boiling. The chews just left. Travis and Christine took them back to the airport but hopefully this soup will be done in about half an hour or so. And I'm already really excited for it. It's gonna be really good. And here it is, the final, final step of the cheddar potato soup. I think it turned out pretty good. Ooh, all right. Hooray, it looks so good. Name a state that Minnie Mouse would make a good governor for. Florida. Name the Disney or Disney Pixar villain other than Maleficent you'd most like to see in their own live action movie. Um, that's all the hunt. If Belle and the Beast got married, where do you think their wedding would take place? Paris. If Washington, D.C. built a new monument to honor a Disney film, which movie would they choose? Um, Pocahontas. Name the city you'd most expect to see people wearing Mickey Mouse t-shirts. Orlando. Okay. Uh, in California. Name the Disney or Disney Pixar villain other than Maleficent you'd most like to see in their own live action movie. Ursula. If Belle and the Beast got married, where do you think their wedding would take place? Paris. Next, uh, uh, another answer. Um, uh, uh, Japan. If Washington DC built a new monument to honor <laughs> a Disney film, which movie would they choose? If Aladdin. Washington, uh, okay. Name the city you'd most expect to see people wearing Mickey Mouse t-shirts. Japan. Tokyo. Hello. Good job. <laughs> Japan twice? Roy, what are you doing? Okay, so we just played a couple rounds of Disney Family Feud and now myself, Dennis, and Christine are heading to the park behind our house. So it's generally a Christmas Eve tradition to head to the park behind our house, but I was not here Christmas Eve, so we're doing it now. The sun's about to go down in a little bit, but we have a uh, football and a basketball, I think, so we're gonna play some games back there. Hopefully before it gets too dark. And we did it, we made it to the park in the neighborhood behind our house. I think Travis and Dennis and Christine are kinda way over there. I guess we just brought the football because there's not enough light to do basketball and football. So we'll just be playing a little bit of touch football, I guess. There's a couple pieces of playground equipment that I'm very, very familiar with over the years. And there's Dennis and Travis. Wow, nice catch. That. Hi. Set, go. Damn it! Set, hike. Uh. Oh, stay. You stay. Down, set, hike. Down, set, hike. So we are now all done with football and it's getting dark so we're heading back to the house. Was that fun? So fun. So the park is way down there at the end of that road. Our house is kind of like back in that direction on the highway. So just to kind of get to the park we just have to go down the highway a little bit and then turn and then go back to the park. So it's about a 20 minute walk or so but we've done it our entire lives so we are very familiar with it. So I got one of these but I did not get the other ones. These cancel out but I got Portland to Pittsburgh Ooh, for 19. Oh, maybe Roy's got it. I got Portland to Houston for Ooh, 16. Whoa. Oh, you were the one with all the Portland routes. I got Dallas to New York for 11. Whoa. It's picking up steam. I got Los Angeles to Chicago for 16. Whoa. And then Los Angeles to New York for 20. Whoa. whoa. Oh! Hey, come on, Roy. Look at you. Dang it. 
was a dramatic I'm so point. lonely wow. back here. <laughs> so we just played a rousing game of Ticket to Ride downstairs, my mom's favorite game, and I'm upstairs because I wanted to conquer this, which is a project that I really wanted to work on while I was home, which is to go through all of my mom's old pictures and just kind of pull out the ones that I really, really liked and snap a picture of it or so just so I can have this kind of a reference because these kinds of pictures always get lost and kind of forgotten. So the ones that really, really matter, I really wanted to try to find them. And then anything theme park related to would be a lot of fun too. All right, taking a bit of a break from my project to visit my grandmother and bring her some New Year's Day dinner. I'm bringing her a donut because apparently she's been really in the mood for donuts recently. Guess who's talking to you? Hey! Yeah, hey, you knew me! Yeah, I knew you. What do you think of this? <laughs> Okay. Yep, what do you think of my beard? You like it? Yeah. You do? Well, that's a you usually tell me you don't like it. Jan's here. <laughs> hey, Mama. Here, Jan. Jan. Hey there. Oh, you got your new your new um, nightgown on that Steve got you. Very pretty. Do you like it? Yeah. What's your favorite dessert? Ice cream. Ooh, what's better than ice cream? <laughs> Oh, you're trouble. Go home and get some ice cream. It's, it's better than ice cream. Jello. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's better Jello. than Jello. Right? <laughs> Jello. Can you think of any other desserts that you really ice like? I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you can't think of any other so desserts? It's, it's round with a hole in the middle. It, it's round with a hole in the middle. Oh, a donut. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Show me donut! You're sharp as a tech, Mama. But you know what Mama said? You have to eat your gumbo first. Right? And you can do that? Eat the gumbo? Yeah, you eat the gumbo first and then you get a donut. What's your favorite kind of pie? Lemon. Lemon. Lemon pie. Wow. That's a surprising answer. Favorite fruit? Banana. Banana. <laughs> I, I think I know what your favorite flower is. What's your name? Iris. Yay! It's an iris, isn't it? Isn't that your favorite flower? Is an iris? Okay, throne room. Yeah, I don't know. So choose a card, play it twice. I'm gonna play bureaucrat twice, so I get two silvers. Oh no, I two greens in my hand. And now I have eight. I'm gonna buy. Oh no. Oh, he's definitely winning. Oh, I have a. You're done. Yes. The ledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and after visiting and playing some games here at my grandma's retirement home, we are heading back to our house to finally have some dinner, even though it's like 10.30. So we're back home, and I did not show this earlier, but we installed the new TV in the downstairs den, and I showed my mom how to work it. So do you want to go ahead and click on a video here, mama? There you go. So after a little troubleshooting, I think my mom figured out how to use a Roku TV, which is really cool and I think she likes it, which makes me happy because I was hoping that she would because it makes her user experience just a little bit easier. It certainly makes my experience easier, which is why I got it for myself and for her. And now she's set up with all of the different apps with uh, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and YouTube and Disney Plus and, and everything that they're gonna need. So. That is pretty fun and rewarding, but it's about midnight now, so we're actually going to bed kind of early comparatively to the other days that I've been here. This is actually my last night in Pensacola. I go back home tomorrow, not till like super late tomorrow, so it's still gonna be a pretty full day tomorrow of activities and fun, and there's already a few things that we have planned, or that I have planned because they're things that I still wanna make sure that I do. They're on my Pensacola bucket list, so that should be a lot of fun, but I'm gonna go Get some sleep, finally, hopefully. Maybe a little bit, but I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us on the first day of 2020. Have a good day. Goodbye.